You know, St. Louis County, it's not unheard of that you could go to bed and the roads are not great and you could get up in the morning and they've done quite a bit of work overnight um, to kind of see what what's happened. But, you know, when you're out and about driving, I'll drop into schools, kind of paying attention to what are the conditions out in front of the school entrance. That's what hurt us the first day that we were off this year was the road conditions out in front of Oakville Middle and Melville High School well, were just horrid, um, just right out front. So usually kind of drive around on school parking lots, see what they are like. Um, and if it's icy, sometimes I'll, I'll get out, try to walk around the parking lot, walk around the sidewalks, just kind of see what it's like. When it's on the bubble, that's the hard one because somebody's, you're gonna make people unhappy. Um, so, erring on the side of caution a little bit. And then there's a little bit of group think that goes into that. And as people, as districts start canceling, uh, nobody wants to be the only one left in school. Uh, but it does happen. Um, it's, kind of, it's getting more and more rare um, because if everybody else is out and you're in, that's going to impact your attendance pretty significantly. Um, so, you know, the last weather system there before the Friday before Martin Luther King Day, you know, that decision was made on forecast. And, you know, that wasn't one person making a decision. That was, you know, you had pretty much every school. You had the colleges um, in St. Louis County all closing that day. So, you know, everybody was airing on the side of caution and ended up there really wasn't any weather. So that happens when the road conditions and the forecast is kind of so bad the night before and you can give everybody a little bit more notice that school's gonna be out, you know, instead of waiting till early in the morning. But, so we're on kind of one of our bad hills now. And so, you know, no real issues with the hill. Uh, we'll go on over here to the other side of the hill and uh, kind of see, but We've been pretty lucky on the temperature this morning. No, no problems, you know. Temperatures are staying above freezing this morning, so, um, you know, we got ice on grass, we got ice on trees. Kind of hard to see the power lines yet, but um, road, road seem to be okay. Yeah, we know that when we call off last minute, child care becomes an issue um, for our parents. So when it's a massive storm, you know, and a lot of, you know, some of the businesses will might uh, close a little early or do something in that regard, that's certainly kind of helpful a little bit. But we know that's an issue because we experience that as an employer, right? Because, um, you know, we have employees who live um, in other districts. Their kids go to school in other districts. So if that district is out and we're in, that create that, that can create a child care problem for our employees. Far so good. So everything's looking pretty decent. Not really seeing any issues. Um, the National Weather Service will give, they'll be updating, um, they usually update their forecast anywhere between like 345-ish and 5 a.m. typically. So we'll see if they've given any sort of update. And so I like to use the National Weather Service because they're the ones that issue all the watches and warnings. And they're not looking for ratings on TV. So they're still in the region one to three by the end of the day, Friday, but it's not looking bad. The hill over Hageman um, that goes down to Merrimack Bottom Road, 
that one can be a challenge. Um, the hills on uh, Will can be a challenge. Um, kind of Heights Road um, can be a challenge, and then the um, kind of going up to Oakville High School from Old Bumgardner um, can be a challenge. And then you get into subdivisions, and you get where you have to stop, but you're going uphill, right? And then it can be hard to get going again because you kind of spin a little bit. Um, so, and there's, you know, tons of those kinds of um, places. But, you know, we just kind of check here and there. And it doesn't look like that. Eh, looking like maybe some high spots. Oh, that's a little slick there. So, you know, just kind of checking things out. Well, I drive a, a little bit of interstate getting here. Um, Dan Gilman, our transportation director, he drives some interstate getting here, as does our facilities director. So we're all a little bit on the interstate on the way in. And so while I'm talking to all the people that I talk to, um, our transportation department, they're talking to um, other bus services, right? Or other transportation departments. The other two things that are kind of big players for us are um, what is SSD going to do in terms of transportation? Are they going to go out? Are they going to stay in session? Because that's a county-wide entity. And then as well as um, are the VIC buses going to run? Because that's 300 kids. I was looking. Right. Point was a little spotty on, it's like, you know, where there's puddles, it was fine, but kind of the, you know, the undulating nature of the asphalt where it was a little higher, um, there, there were some slick spots, um, especially kind of around the light poles um, where it seemed to be a little bit higher, but um, everybody's starting to text kind of right now, but it's look, it, looking like we should be able to go. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I think we can go. I do too, and I also talked to Parkway. They're a go. I just yeah. talked to Tammy or Vic. Um, she's a go. Uh, yeah, we're North. just starting to text among yeah. the South County group, and everybody looked good.